on the front panel you'll notice quite a few little items on here. The first one is a eco throttle on and off and we'll talk about that. The next set are two little uh, sockets here for parallel operations. One of the features this uh, Honda has is the ability to link up with another Honda EU2000i and uh, double the output current so that um, by itself it couldn't run a, uh, a travel trailer air conditioning unit. But if you linked up two of these units together by virtue of these outlets, it would have enough power to run the overhead air conditioner on your travel trailer or motorhome or whatever else. Then you'll notice the regular 120 volt um, AC outlets. Uh, as we go around here, we have um, a special kind of socket right here. One of the features it has is the ability to charge your car batteries at uh, 8 amps. So it has a special socket here. You plug that in, push the button, and um, boom, you can charge your batteries at uh, 8 amps, which is a pretty good charge. And you have your circuit protector on and off. Um, there's a special screw right here if, if you are in a motorhome or um, in some area that uh, you need grounding. It has a nice convenient little grounding spot. Then it's got some uh, lights that turn on. The first one is uh, oil alert. If uh, you should be running low on oil, the light will turn on and it will shut the engine off. Second thing is your overload alarm. If you're choosing, if you're using up too much current, um, that'll also uh, give you an indication there and shut off the generator. And then you finally have another light here, which simply shows that you have output, so your generator is able to um, produce electricity. If we look on the um, side where it has the uh, pull rope, noticed up here we have one little lever here for a choke. Usually when this machine is um, started on a regular warm day uh, you don't even need the choke. But if you do, it's nice and convenient, it's right there. You have another little um, screw right here which opens up your hatch and exposes parts of the engine inside so you could do things like uh, change oil and uh, change your air filter, that sort of thing. Over here you have your pull rope and another switch for off and on. On the other side of the uh, generator, other than the label itself, you have another little uh, door right here. When you open that up, you have exposure to your spark plug so you can change your spark plug on your own. Then, over here, we have a special kind of gas cap that they designed. Um, so if you're using it, you turn the lever to on. If you are got it off and you're storing it, you leave the lever to off. I wanted to talk about this little item, the Eco Throttle. And it's pretty much like what it says. It's an economic throttle. What it does is, if you have it in the on position, You've got the generator going. It's just going to use a very small amount of electricity to, or a small amount of fuel to keep the engine running um, and so that the engine could run for hours and hours. But as soon as you apply any sort of load to it, like lights or uh, a power tool of some sort, then what it's going to do is it's automatically going to adjust the engine, the speed, the fuel consumption, to accommodate just that item. So if you're running a uh, uh, 400 watts of uh, lights, for instance, it's just going to use up just enough power to run those cleanly and smoothly. And then if you uh, are going to run a uh, like a, uh, a miter saw, a power miter saw or something, and you're going to use up like 1500 amps, or I mean, strike that, 1500 watts, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically adjust the engine It'll use up more um, fuel, but it's only going to use up just enough fuel to operate uh, the load that's on it. 
wanted to take a minute here to talk about what the inverter means and why that's important. A lot of portable generators, at least most of them in the past, they have a gasoline engine that drives a generator and it produces an AC current. And you get this nice flow current, but because the engines vary uh, for lots of different reasons, you also get spikes in the current. So you can get a high and low spike and you could actually damage some delicate electrical equipment. It probably wouldn't matter so much if you have incandescent lights, if they uh, spark a little or whatever, that's okay, you know, you can get away with that. But if you're operating delicate equipment, you want a nice, clean, smooth waveform. And that's what the inverter system does. It has, in the electronics part, all kinds of uh, capacitors and things that smooth that out. It's got some electronic circuitry in there that give you a nice clean waveform. Okay, the best way of explaining what the Eagle Throttle does is to demonstrate it. So I'm going to start it up and then we're going to uh, plug in and try the uh, table saw. This is what the engine sounds like. Very quiet. Um, going to turn on the uh, saw. I'm going to um, add some distance between the, the saw and the generator so you can hear the difference in, in the noise levels. I've moved the saw a good uh, 15 feet away. And I'm going to turn it on and meanwhile listen to what happens to the generator. One other thing, um, when we walk away from the generator, we're probably now about 10 feet away. If you walk um, maybe 20 feet away, um, it's barely noticeable at all. <laughs> 